Oh, hello there, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to today. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry that it's been so long. You know, I went to go see Pearl Jam in Nashville a couple weeks ago and emerged unscathed after sharing a room with 20,000 people or so for a few hours. And upon my return, what do you know? I catch the flu from my son, but we got to get back to work here if we are going to learn every song in the history of mankind, and today is one that should be in everyone's repertoire. Save tonight. Is it just me or was that Kermit bordering on Ernie? <laughs> here we go. I'm going to show you the chords and a strumming pattern, and then we're going to add a little extra spice to the recipe. I think you're going to like it, but the whole entire song is the same four chords. It's A minor. <laughs> F, you can play a huge F or little F, and I'm gonna show you why you might find F with a C in the bass to be to your advantage. That would be B1, G2, D3, and A3, do that if you want, followed by C, and then G. Whole song, A minor, whatever F you want, C, and G, those are the chords. For the strumming pattern now, let's go down, 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 up, on every single chord. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now, especially as we speed this up, but you'll notice that you can't switch in zero time. It takes time to switch. And those last two little strums, the last down, up, you want to use as your switching time. And some of the chords have more in common with the next chord than others. For instance, from A minor. F. Notice I did that last down up while I was switching, but it was fine. From F to C, kind of no matter how you play F, those two chords have a lot more in common, so your kind of junk strummy down up won't be of such perturbation. <laughs> but either way, those in-betweeny kind of strums are part of playing the guitar, so just, you know, live with it. That's the chords and the strumming pattern. Now let's add a little bit more stuff, more gravy on the fire. On your A minor, start with all your fingers off. Give the guitar a strum, and then hammer your fingers into the chord. Strumming pattern does not change. Down, hammer, down, down, down. I won't say hammer this time. It's not hammer time. When you play F, this is when I'm going to switch to my F with a C in the bass. B1, G2, D3, A3, because it's going to help with what we're going to do on our C chord, but just normal on the F. When we get to the C, start with your middle finger off and hammer that on in the same way you did the A minor chord. And then G is just normal. So the A minor and the C. And you'll hear that those things, ooh, I forgot to do it, are in the song. Here we go. One more time. But you see why I like that F with a C in the bass? It makes switching to C really quick so that you can get this thing done. I can't tell you whether or not they do the entire F or that, but this is what I like, so you do you. And that's it for that, but what would Softball Sunday be without the sharing of an evolution bell comment? That's right, the evolution bell, the bell that hurts me much more than it hurts you. Today's comment, this one is great, comes from Sir Dave, who says, the way this guy teaches is really hard to follow, and so are other tutorials. <laughs> Sometimes everyone in the world is wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sir Dave. Thank you all for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Bye. <laughs>